Hi, this is Ushio. Welcome back to the Flower Collectors. This is Chapter 8, The Return. It's the next morning. We just had a falling out with Melinda, but she came back, and now we're a team once again. But she looked, she looked kind of dead. Are you, are you just Still asleep? Sleeping. What should I do for breakfast? Okay, yeah, she she moving a bit. Uh, coffee proper. Let's let's do a proper breakfast. We're we're sort of kind of re reintroducing our relationship slightly, so we need to kind of get back on better terms. Let's have. She a, looks exhausted. Yeah, get a proper breakfast dinner. I'll whip up something to eat and let her rest for a bit. Yeah, let's let's cook up a real fry up. Make her big and strong. <laughs> Okay, where, where's she gone? There we go. Nothing beats a proper breakfast. This is early. Look how dark it is outside. What I'm Houseman. Yes. It's clear that he must have known about the mole. Now that the list is out, all we have to do is make the connection. Do you think he shot him? I'm not sure it matters. If we can link him to the killings, he'll have a lot to explain. <laughs> Won't look good in the polls. Speaking of, the election is tomorrow. The story has to be finished today, for it to reach the morning papers. Let's not waste any time then. We should start at the cabaret. Houseman's got something going on with the owner. I'll head down. You go check the perimeter. Okay, we're gonna team up, and we're gonna have another look around town. Melinda's on her way. That's it. Off, off she goes. So I guess I'm gonna set up position. Give me, give me the camera. Some film left. Yeah, that's good. And we can have a look around. Haven't seen our neighbour for a while. Oh no, there she is. Just keeping out of the rain slightly, but she keeping an eye on things. And there was the murder. Kids, kids are still playing. This, yeah, the mechanic shop is now closed because they got caught. They were printing some kind of resistance type of stuff. And what else have we got? Cafe's open, but the, the tables aren't out because of the rain. Padre has no one to play chess with anymore. Because Aldo got arrested. He's been arrested on suspicion of murder, which we think he's the witness, but we don't think he's the murderer. Meanwhile, at the cabaret, there's the doorman. On guard, as always. Lola was here, but she got arrested. So it's just the owner we're trying to What what wait wait a second. Is that Carmen? What is going on with Carmen? Kid, the cabaret owner is down. Is that a bottle of drink? Or is she actually dead? In her apartment. What? Is she dead? Can't tell. But it doesn't look good. In any case, this is our chance. I'm going in. Wait a moment. I'll check the door. Well, you don't want to get blamed. If this person's been killed, you don't want to get blamed for it. The... okay. Mel, stop. The bouncer is there. I just saw him. Crap. You have to distract him. I'll think of something. I mean, I could I could phone him. I did it once before, but I'm not I'm not sure that's a good idea. I, where is Mel anyway? I don't even know where she's hiding. Should I phone? Who'd have thought this would come in handy again? Okay, we're going to give this guy a buzz. Hopefully he'll pick up. Hello. Hello. Come on. Take the bait. Haven't spoken to this guy before. Si. Hola, Senor Blanco. Who is this? I am calling about the cabaret. This is a terrible acting job. Who is this? Leave her alone. You've done enough harm already. Come on, Mel. Go. I'm in the hallway. Ah, uh, never mind, Senor. You stay away from her. Seems like they've received threats in the past. So I'm I'm not sure what's happened. So is is Mel inside? We just prank called the police. He's he's still in there. He's still in there. Where's Mel? Search Carmen's apartment for clues. Okay. Careful when you enter. Use your sleeve to open the door. Check the body, but don't move anything. I can hear noises coming from inside. Really? I can't... I can't see anyone. Is there anyone there? Phew. What? She's not dead. She's sleeping. Oh, smells like booze in here. Oh, so she's, she's drunk herself into like a, hmm. a stupor. 
Oh, that's interesting. Oh, there you are. She's taking photos. What did you find? Interesting bookkeeping. I'm leaving it as I found it. But I took some Polaroids. Yeah, I noticed the flash. Good thinking. Apparently, Carmen received regular payments from Houseman, which is definitely a connection. But there was nothing about the mole. We'll have to look elsewhere. Okay, so where to? So is she back outside yet? She's still in the building. So this is Lola's apartment. This is where her partner got beaten up. The, you know, the guy from the restaurant, the cafe. Okay, Mel is out. Safe and sound, hopefully. What's, what's she looking at? Observe the plaza. What's going on? Just a couple of kids having a bit of fun playing around. Can't see anything else. Oh, here's the Padre. And there's the guy. He got beaten up by the police. But he seems to be doing okay. Oh, he's st he still got his job. So he didn't get killed or arrested or anything like this. But I don't, I don't know. So those guys are around. Oh, Aldo's back. Hey, good news. Our friend Aldo made it back from detention. Really? That's great. Good to see he's still on his feet. I'll talk to him. Hurry up, before Eusebio gets there and interferes again. Okay, Eusebio is he's watching. He's watching with them owl-like eyes. Not owl-like, they are owl eyes. Quickly. That's it. She got there. She got there. Here he comes. Oh no! Immediately busted. Immediately busted. He did it again. But this time I was faster. What did you get? He saw Houseman. The night of the murder. He saw him. Coming from the cabaret. Finally. So there goes his alibi. We're still lacking a gun. If only we could talk to the singer. Somebody at the cabaret has to know something. Sounds like a good lead. I'll keep an eye out. Hope she's also been released from the station. Check if anyone else has shown up in the meantime. I was we're talking about, is it Lola? But she is dead drunk. She is completely unconscious. Okay, the doorman's no longer in the, the phone box. Where's he gone? Anyone on the roof? Anyone in Lola's apartment? I can't see anyone. No, no real movement. See what else is going on. I'm on a time limit and I don't want to mess up. You could try that waiter at the cafe. He is close to Lola. Maybe she let something slip. Also, he did get beaten up, so we don't know what that's about either. So maybe we can get something that way. Hmm. He's in a super bad mood. Well, his girlfriend got arrested. He wanted to leave town with her. Bought tickets for them to get out of here. She refused. Said the cabaret was like a family. He'd just come to terms with her choice. Then the policia showed up. Hmm. It's just really shit timing. Oh man. Padre isn't that Che. We haven't got a lot out of him. What else is going on? I'm not even sure. Has anybody else shown up? The mechanics? It's kind of not a lot going on. The rain is coming down. Neighbor? Neighbor's over there keeping dry. Doña Ana is watching the repair shop. I got an idea. Now that Houseman is our prime suspect, how about you go and show his picture to Doña Ana? Good thinking. Do you need a photo? I'm good. I'll just get a copy of yesterday's news. Okay, cool. So we're gonna send Mel up. And if she can be our eyewitness and confirm that it was the guy, maybe that will give us something else. But I'm not sure what's going on now. There's it's lots of different elements and we need to start bringing them together this this seemed like a bit of a dead end we haven't seen too much out of it apart from the pamphlets they were printing but okay what's going on up here are they there time stopped so i think we're good what's the plan hello hello What's going on? Update please. 
There she is. She recognized the guy from the paper, but never saw him on the night. Damn. She told me a story about those Italian women, though. Said they showed up about a year ago. Yeah, I remember. That's when the noise started. Damn scooters. Focus, Jorge. They came here looking for their dad, who disappeared some years ago. Disappeared? Anna thinks he was part of that revolutionaries group in the Spanish mountains. They followed his trail here to find him. No luck so far. So, another one. Gone. Think about it. The mole gets killed because he's carrying a list of missing people. The next day, the list shows up on pamphlets in front of their repair shop. They found the original and started printing it. If they can't get their dad back... We can at least try to make sure it doesn't happen again. We should add that to your story. Okay, time is ticking I can't stop again. I thinking about the printing press. We should take a closer look at it. I'll take a picture. Okay, what okay. we got? Got a shot of the press. Yep, got that shot. So what else? Investigate the repair shop. Can we go in? Maybe the original list is still in there somewhere. Makes good evidence. I'll take a peek inside. Okay, sneak, sneak on in. It's no good. The policia locked the place up. Let me think. The kids were talking about something. What were they saying? Kids, you know what's up. Can you tell us? I'll ask them. See what they know. Please. They're, they're right there. Chat to them. This is Laura. I can't remember this kid's name, and we've never met the one with the blue cap. So what's, what's good? What's good? Kids of the street always know what to do. They told me the mechanics used to let them play around the back. So they know a way to get in? Maybe there's a rear entrance. I'll check when it gets dark. Okay. Music's coming from the cabaret. What's going on here? Oh, Lola's back. Oh, thank God. Good to see you're safe, Lola. You won't believe who's back from custody. Stop playing games. Our evasive singer. She's in the garden. Is she okay? Hard to tell from up here. Why don't you go and ask her? Yeah, let's, let's break in. Maybe we can talk to her. And I'm sure the waiter's going to be a lot happier now. So how are you going to get in there? Can you break through? Jump over the fence? Or just walk in the front? So I, I don't know where the, the dolman went. Like the bouncer dude. I really don't know where he went. But we're just going to let ourselves in. There we go. Yo, let's, let's have a chat. Hey, how's it going? I heard you got arrested. How does that feel? <laughs> it's going to be such an awkward conversation to have with a complete stranger. Uh, let's get a couple of photos. They gave her a black eye. It's bad. They beat her up. Bastards. She's covering it with makeup so she can keep performing. Aside from that, she seems okay. Said she's used to it. Has been running from authorities all her life. I told her about what we're doing. She's keen to help. Did she tell you anything about Hausman? Yes. Hausman is responsible for some changes here. She said it looked like the cabaret was going bust until he showed up. He must have been pouring money in. Certainly fits the records you found in Carmen's room. I think their deal has something to do with the disappearances. Maybe Carmen is... Hausman just showed up. Quick. Find a place to hide. Oh god, there he is. There he is. He's going in. Where did Mel go? Ah, oh, I can only look in one place at a time. Oh god, Houseman's here. Lola knows what's up. I'll take a photo. <laughs> I need that evidence for later. Now we can prove you know the people here. That's it. It's talking with Lola. She's still unconscious. But I don't even know. Lola is well on her guard now. She knows that Houseman's no good. So I'm, I'm not sure. They're talking. Can you move a little closer? I'm not sure where Melinda is, actually. Can you hear anything? Where is she? I've got no idea where she is. Oh, the waiter's here. Maybe he wants to see Lola. It's all coming to a head now. <sighs> Didn't have a clue I was here. Lola made sure he kept talking. She's amazing. Careful. 
He's still in there. And so's the waiter, so's the boyfriend. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you later. But the gist is that he threatened her not to talk about the night he was here. So Aldo was right. Totally. Now we just need to find his gun. He won't have it on him. He's too smart for that. Yeah. Hey, tell me when he leaves so I can get out. Okay, so the light just came on up here. That must be Lola's room. But who's discovered unconscious Carmen? <sighs> Cutting it a bit close there, Mel. Can't see. Is Mel out? No. Houseman left. So who's that? So where's he going? Is he getting into his car? Where's he going? He's coming back. I'm not sure what's going on. But Houseman threatened Lola not to talk. Oh, these guys are having a chat now. That must be the, the doorman. Oh yeah, El Blanco, there we go. These guys having their, I don't know, an argument, or maybe this time they would escape together. But I don't know where the bunny dude is. Because I saw him walk down the street, but then he turned around and went underneath. I couldn't follow him. But just a nice touch. Look at my shadow. That's, that's kind of cool. I can see myself like that. And also right down to the street. So, where did Houseman go? I'm worried. I missed him. I'm worried that he's coming up. I'm scared. Hello? No. No. Let's close that door. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully he's not coming to us. Because I have been up here and Lola's been staring at me point blank. So she knows that we can see directly across the road. But where did Houseman go? Where's Mel? I've completely lost track. Oh, he's talking to Padre. You've got to be joking. Mel, he left the cabaret. <laughs> Good. I was getting bored. He's meeting with Eusebio. How far does this guy's reach go? Can't say I'm surprised. The Catholic Church is in it with the worst of them. Anyone who allows them to spread their traditions and influence. Can't believe I trusted that two-faced coward. Wait. Could this be the reason why... Eusebio stopped me from talking with Aldo? Damn it. This is this is dodgy. Alright, that's it. I'm coming up. Don't don't walk into these guys. Don't bump into them. Because that's just gonna cause you trouble. But I don't know, man. Aldo is currently safe. But yeah, Eusebio? We don't know what his game is. What what's his stake in all of this? These guys. These guys are still trying to work it out. Is she ever going to wake up? At least put her on the bed. Get her off the floor. But I think Mel's coming up now. So hopefully we can kind of compare notes and see what we make of the situation. Hello? Are you coming or what? Oh, there you are. That's it. Up the stairs. Just, just let yourself in. It's all good. Let's get everything up on the board. Let's do it. We got more evidence, we can try and piece it together and work stuff out. Here we go. So, we have a shot of Houseman at the cabaret. We've got Aldo and Lola testifying he was there the night of the murder. That's solid, but so what? You were there too. Well, I haven't been paying money to the cabaret. These payments. I'm certain Carmen was paid to sell out her own people. The cabaret was always a watering hole for those seeking refuge from the government. So, what's his motive? The mole was there when he issued the orders back in 74. The list is proof of the casualties caused by the raids. And now, with the country trying to become a democracy, it would end his political career. Yeah, if we can prove any of the orders came from him. Let's put things on the wall. See what we're missing. Okay, let's let's put some stuff together then. We've got our evidence, we've got some evidence and witnesses and all stuff. Hausman threatened Lola not to talk about that night. Cabaret changed when Hausman showed up. Aldo saw Hausman leave the cabaret on the night of the murder. What is this? Oh, what is this? That is a... That's Aldo on the bench, isn't it? Carbon is receiving payments from Hausman. Hausman talking with Eusebio. Houseman visited the cabaret. Photo evidence we'll go with that. visiting the cabaret. We like photo this evidence. That's good. To back up the payments we found. 
Okay, how's been threatened Lola? He told Lola not to mention he was at the cabaret. So it's safe to assume he was. Exactly. So, Cabaret changed when Hausman showed up. How about that? She probably hates how Hausman is using his money to change the cabaret. Seems a bit too vague for me. But this is the evidence we have. Hopefully, it will make a little bit more sense. So That's we'll go with all that. We know for now. Okay, not quite case closed, but we're starting to understand a lot of these pieces. I'm going down to the repair shop. See if I can find a way inside. The original list. Wonder if it was longer than that single page. We're running out of options and time. We're just gonna have to give it our all. I'll contact you once I'm inside. Okay, so she's gonna go down there right now. Oh, okay, she's gone. She's out of here. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna work this out. So yeah, this is Usho signing off, and hopefully I will see you next time.